Hey yo to and welcome back to the StarCraft 2 Diary. Last game was garbage as hell. I lost so hard. That's the stupid Reaper opening. Normally this should never work, never. And you can defend, you can defend quite nicely against it. But if you don't have the micro to click and focus the, the, the Reaper, I once was quite good at it. But as with, with all the grenade nerves and such, it went out of fashion, so you hardly see it anymore. And then, if it hits you, it hits hard. GG. I think it still could work against Zerg. Even. Potentially. Maybe. I don't know. The, the grenades don't deal as much damage. 5 damage is not enough against Zerg links. And Queens and... Hmm. But with good micro, you might be able to overwhelm. It's a full all in. Sometimes, if it, if you would have, if I would have hold it, then he definitely would have lost this game. But well, that's that's it. So in the end, I get a Protoss, and I don't think that Mac works against Protoss because of the carrier. Maybe even because of the Tempest. There's, there's nothing you can do against carrier. And the problem is not maybe the carrier itself, but the dynamic of the game, of the flow of the game. You just can't go full mass Vikings if there are a bunch of Stalker underneath. And Stalker now are really strong as well. So that definitely is a big problem. The Cyclone doesn't work. The anti-air is nice, but I don't think it gets buffed with the... With the... Upgrades. So if you get attack upgrades, I don't think the anti-air of the Cyclone gets... The upgrades as well, the damage uh, increase. I don't think so. Because it's a, sp it's a spell. And not an attack. If I'm if I'm correct, but that's the difference. So it sticks to the I think 180 damage with the upgrade. Yeah, it's nice, but still I would need to test it out if it gets uh, affected by armor or not. If yes, then it's not a spell. If no, then it is a spell. Okay, that's that's fine. I think this is how I open up in this matchup. I think it is. But you never know, you never know. Okay, that's that's fine. I hope he's not gonna be annoying here. He is great. Wow. So annoying. Oh come on, why why? Why would you do this? There's no need to it. At all. Not the slightest. Well, the pilot basically does nothing. If he lets it finish, then this would be even worse. No, he cancels it. Now with no fault on overcharge, this pylon is just a waste of minerals. It does it, it really does absolutely nothing. This pylon also, yeah, maybe for the shield battery, but oh, there. I shouldn't lure him up there. I should go back down. Yeah, follow this reaper. Try to catch it if you can. You can't. Great. Okay. It's fine, as long as he is attacking this Reaper, not going for the... Now I just go in again. Lure him back. Come on, I need this. There we go, there's the shield battery. 
but it does nothing. I don't get it. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. It's not good at all. You got a lot of stalkers, so potentially I will need a bunker there. Which is also not nice. But I definitely don't need more marines here. They don't help me at all. Bam! That's nice damage. And he found it. So that's the end of this. And probably he will just kill all those units, uh, buildings. Which is quite expensive, but I can't help it, that's how it is. As I said, the new Widow Mine is bad. It's, it's really not a good a good unit at all. It definitely isn't. You were supposed to build something there, you know that. I don't think I can survive this attack if it comes. I don't think so. If he attacks and hits hard, which probably he will, yeah, there it is, there is his attack! I need to pull units there. Okay. Sentries, very interesting. Overseer, I spotted it, that's good. I don't know if I really dealt the damage I need. I, I really can't tell. But I'm trying, I'm really trying. Okay, he's not there. Okay, very interesting. I don't think that was a good trade at all. Don't think so. I need to grab another base, but with that force I currently got, I can't. I simply can't. But I need, I have to. Need to leapfrog forward here. Wow. Yeah, 
don't know, that's, that's, that's Protoss. Oh, he's doing it so nicely, I hate it. I really do. Protoss is such a race which just makes you cry and rage quit. That's, that's definitely Protoss. So let's see, maybe I can deal damage. Probably not. So let's scout what's going on here. I need to I need to continue this harassment. It's definitely one thing I need to do. Don't have any money. Where's my money? Don't have any money. Money, money, money. Line him up! The nice thing is the shield battery doesn't do enough against the spurs damage. And just continue attacking. I wonder where all my units are. What's that? Yeah. And I'm supply cut. Why am I not wandering? Because it's so typical for me. I also wonder that he never went into... What the heck? Went into... More prison play. That's really unusual. But I think slowly but surely... Yes, it's Lord Prison. Okay. I don't know what exactly I need. So I just get a bunch of everything, maybe some Widow Mines, because why not? They are fast produced. Should be fine. Add on complete. So. That's fine, that's fine. That's fine. I'm taking it way too slow, that's the problem. I'm giving him way too much time. To build up, to react, to do whatever he wants. That's not how this... How mech should work here. Probably. So I definitely do not need Battlecruiser here, but maybe Cloak Banji could be nice. Okay. I need some spotters. 
What's that? That's the thing. Now he got... Now he got carrier. There is his attack. And, and I will definitely lose to this attack. What's going on there? Oh. Well, I don't know what this attack is about. But it definitely is a little bit strange. Okay. I think I survived this somehow. Don't ask me how, because I don't know. But okay, I think I can attack this base now. Maybe Vitamines aren't as bad as I thought they were. Maybe he's just scared. Maybe from Thor would be nice. I mean the damage of the Cyclone is nice, it's okay. It looks like carrier garbage, but trust me, they are not. They definitely are not. Okay, currently I don't know. Just dealing so much damage. There he is, okay. One hundred sixty damage. Okay. His upgrades were really good. But just messing carriers, he should have gone in with way more. Like every minute there should be a, a attack here and there. Or maybe here. He could have tried to fly in and more person here. Maybe there. Uh, difficult. Against that turret ring, difficult. But just try something. I don't know. So now to the damage. I want to see the damage. The damage of the. Yeah. <laughs> the damage of the cyclones against the. Okay, they lock on, no damage, shield 3, 8 damage, 8 damage with, I think it's 16 shots, is it? What's the damage, 120, 160, 
168, 20 shots. So 20 shots and it deals 8 damage each, so it's a spell. Yeah. Because the first 12 shots are 96 damage. So you deal 96 damage with one cyclone against a carrier. And I need 400 damage. Which means you need more than 4 cyclones with lock on to kill one carrier. If you get 5 cyclones per carrier, one carrier is like 6 supply, maybe 8, but 6. And the cyclone is 2, 3. So you need 6, si six, six 10, 9, 12, 15 supply of cyclones worth of cyclones to kill one carrier which is six supply worth of <laughs> supply and then you also have 400, 500 gas against 250 so just cost wise cyclones are so bad against carrier they are okay against void rays and maybe phoenix uh, lift, uh, lift ability I don't know but Void Ray, against Void Rays the Cyclone is awesome because it's faster, especially when Void Ray triggers its overcharge ability, its, its uh, prismatic alignment. But other than that, phew, Cyclones are not that good against carry at all. They never meant, were meant to be okay, but it's, it's really difficult. And then the Thor... I don't know if the Thor can win against a carrier. That's one thing I want to see. Uh, where's my bookmark? Okay. There, there it is. I want to see how good a, 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 a void um, a Thor is against a carrier. Just for me to know, because it's really, really difficult to know. Hmm. Okay, so carrier, Thor. Get me back into the fight. So the damage is really nice. The damage is really nice. So you might think that works, but maybe, maybe the Thor can kite. You know? Okay, no, that wasn't. Okay, so the, the carrier don't have the launch interceptor ability anymore. That's interesting to note. I thought they still have it. Okay. So if they just attack Amy, which you normally won't see because it doesn't make sense. Wait a second. So you try to shift click all of those. Let's see. I mean it's not not really accountable or or good reference what I'm testing here. Not really. really isn't. It looks like it's very even. Not quite. The range is just 8, so... 
But normally you don't have just carry against the Thor, normally you have a different unit composition. Let's check the upgrades. If that changes every anything. Oh wait, wait, wait. So in total the throw is better than the carrier with the damage. The damage is really good. So it seems like Thor is the answer. But normally you have Immortal underneath or Archon or anything and then it gets woo. Anyway, I won this game so that's fine. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed as always. I wish you a very nice day and goodbye. Hey oh there, thank you for watching. If you'd like to support me, simply hit the thumbs up button. Do you have any wishes, feedback or suggestions? Put them into the comments below. You may also subscribe if you're new to the channel. I wish you a wonderful and stress-free day. Take care. Bye bye. Thank you.